Center. Then we have our correspondents in Abuchi, okay, in Abuchi on standby. So it will give us updates on how the election have been so far in Imo, uh, in Kogi State. Hello, Nabuchi. Many thanks for joining us. How are you doing over there? Uh, you, I mean, I yes, yes, louder than that. Oh, well, we are currently at the Center here in Okoja. We are suspended. At about one time, we have the first campaign at home. About 11, 11, uh, 11 uh, so far, we announced uh, with ABC within uh, about 11. Eighteen of them have been released, but the level has been won by the ABC, while the rest has won six of the local government. But um, for now, everything went well. We are in problem. The polls, you know, were not smoothly. The high-tech officials perform their duties and the way not to be. The security situation here was bad. All the security agencies guard everywhere very well and we didn't hear of any problem during the polls. Okay, all right. Uh, Kogi State's governor mentioned something about the security situation there. He said that there was no violence and the media is making it up as it is a figment of their imagination. There's also reports going on round that one person was killed, although some parties were, it was made to seem as if a party was the one responsible for the killing of this person. And with this information certainly, would you still say that there is no electoral violence in Kogi State for this election? Okay, before now, you know that this um, going used to be the headquarters of uh, violence. Even though the governor yesterday, while he was speaking, said it was a figment of the media imagination. But we all know uh, the slogan ta -ta 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 -ta, that used to happen here in the state. But this time, it's you know, on the minimal side, it was not as it used to be a uh, you know, few years ago. For the person that died somewhere in the uh, East, uh, I think it was the uh, one of the talks, uh, one of the political parties that got the And uh, of course, the government has the right to say whatever to me, as you say, after all, it's living. But what all of us here do know is that uh, the state used to be the voters of uh, uh, violence during elections. But you cannot compare it to what you have this time. This election was uh, very, very clear in terms of security. Uh, it was not what it used to be. Around and free, they about the local here. I saw that it was not uh, the way it used to be. Even within the local metropolis, it used to be a very uh, violent and volatile area. But this time it was not so. But you cannot, you know, uh, wish away the fact that uh, there are only some skirmishes of uh, uh, violence here and there. But uh, you cannot compare it what, what it used to be. Okay, all right. Now let us talk about manipulation of votes because some um some the election was suspended in some local government area because the result sheets were filled, and then we also have incidents of fake police arrested during this election. Do you think that this development would affect the people? Because now there are chances that the person who they have voted for might not emerge. Do you think this has trampled on the spirits of the electorate over there? Well, I I I have seen that trampling the spirit of uh, those who want to vote. After all, that we have confirmed that there, there, there is a lot of security here. That is why they are catching those people are uh, forging their uniforms and claiming that they are serious there when they are not. So if they are not enough the security will such thing happen, the answer is no. So it means that uh, we are not the security logistics we are put in place and we are seeing the results. Uh, those people who are arrested have handed over the prosecution and it shows that yes that is security uh in the court. Yes, you can also we uh, also witness some kind of uh, water apathy in some places, and the reason was because some people thought it's going to be business as usual. Uh, I don't want to go out because I know that these things, you know, there will be problems. 
but go and go to the cross cross and the election was over. I don't think it was because of what is on the ground that people stayed away for those who stayed away. I know that it was And then talking about manipulation, I will not be able to read down. But what I know is that those who have been accused. I came out yesterday to say uh, in the uh, one somewhere where they say um, some some people have already written the result before uh, the president of the department. And I then came out to say they're investigating this and we will get back to the court because we uh, conclude our investigation. And even here yeah, inside the immigration center, you know, somebody raised that matter, asked them why they are going ahead to release the results. And they said, well, the investigation is still ongoing. Uh, maybe before we complain and finish complete the process, I think it would have come out the investigation or result of the investigation and maybe uh, a motion of punishment where necessary. But for now, the I think it's now is still, uh, of course, it's just that thing that things like that happen. But no penalties have been given. Nobody has been reprimanded for whatever uh, crime this is alleged to have committed. Okay, all right. Just one final question before we let you go because it is almost four o'clock and you said that the recess is going to be over by four. So, even before the voting, before the collision of the voting, before the counting is over, we have candidates of PDP outrightly rejecting the results of the election, even before it is complicated. And we all know that the peace accord, peace treaty was signed before this election started. Do you feel like this might be enough since we have one candidate already saying that he's not going to accept the results of this election? Do you feel like that peace accord might be enough that all sides of this, all sides of the parties will accept this election result in good faith and then go to the judiciary to go and voice out their grievances? Uh, you should know that it's not only one person that contested. You have about 80 political parties being represented at the election. So if one person is saying, I do not agree, of course, you know, this one can be and go to court. So if the PDP candidate says, I'm not comfortable with the results that are coming out, well, he has an option, and that option is to go to court. But the process has not been completed, so to say. To have said that. Maybe he has noticed that uh, he's not doing well uh, because he only is on the Local government, the APC defeated the there. So, uh, what do you think? What do you expect? Maybe he is going to court, but for him to say he has rejected it, that is one step. You reject it, then later you go to, uh, you go to court. Talking about this and court, this and court is because of that. If you do not agree, uh, if you are not in tandem with the result that you know, have been released so far, yes, you reject it and do the necessary thing, which is to seek uh, legal redress. Instead of resorting to crisis, you know, and it was because of that uh, that this accord was able to sign uh, in the first instance so that nobody gets to go into his hand. Like he said, I don't like this uh, result. He can as well order his toes to go into town and wreck power. But for him to say, I don't, I don't believe in this result, the best thing he should do is to go to court. All right, we thank you so much for. Giving us out of your very busy time over there. Many thanks for giving us update on what's going on in Kogi State. Thank you. All right, best of luck out there and please do stay safe.